What I'm going to do in this demonstration is create a new collaboration portal, but I'm going to do it in such a way so that I can introduce you to several of the tools that you'll use continuously when you're developing with SharePoint. First one here is a thing called SharePoint Central Admin. Now I've gone ahead and pinned SharePoint Central Admin to my Start menu because I use it all the time, but uh, if you're using a brand new system, your shortcut to Central Admin is going to be located under the Microsoft Office Server group under the Start menu. So we'll go ahead and fire up SharePoint 3.0 Central Administration. Now in Moss, Central Admin is broken up into three groups, the Operations tab, the Application Management tab, and then the Shared Services Administration site. Now this does not exist on Windows SharePoint Services. What we're going to do is use the Application Management tab to delete a web application uh, that was installed when we created the SharePoint sites in the first place and then recreate a new web application. Now web application is simply also known as a virtual directory in Internet Information Services. So I'm going to come here and go to the Delete Web Application choice and find the application that's on the default web app. In this case, it has defaulted correctly to my server, and I'm going to leave it set to that. And I'm going to specify that I want to delete the uh, content database and the IIS websites that were created for me by the configuration tool. Of course, this is going to warn us that we're about to delete both a database and a website, and that's fine. I'll go ahead and click OK and let this operation run. And now what I'm going to do is click the Create or Extend Web Application button. And I'm going to create a new web application. So the first thing I need to do is specify a new website description. This is some informative text, and I'm just going to name this uh, My New SharePoint Site. And I'm going to specify that this is going to be on port 80. And I'm also going to create a host header record for this so that we don't have to deal with win-h4rzjms, et cetera, and so forth. We're just going to call this my server. I've already made a DNS entry on my server that's going to resolve that correctly. And I'm just going to scroll down here and say that we're going to leave the security configuration as is for the default. And I'm going to specify that I want this to use the existing application pool that was created when I installed SharePoint. This all looks good. I'm also going to give this uh, database name something a little bit more descriptive. So that if I have to deal with this in any of the SQL Server tools, I'll know what database we're dealing with. And uh, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and click OK and watch the spinny spin. All right, now the application created page is displayed, and uh, this shows me that the operation completed successfully. What I need to do now is actually create the site collection that's going to contain the collaboration portal. So I'm simply going to follow the Create Site Collection page link here off of this page. I could also navigate to this directly via the Application Management tab, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new site here at my server. We're going to create a new collaboration portal, so I'm going to name this site Collaboration Portal. And if we scroll down here to the template selection pane, we can see here under the publishing tab that there are two types of portals that we can create, the collaboration portal and the publishing portal. This is going to be a collaboration portal. And I'm going to go ahead and make my login account, which is administrator, the site collection owner. And the site collection owner is going to have the ability to uh, basically do anything that we want on the site. It has super user privileges and we'll click OK to create this new site collection. So our top level site is now successfully created. I'm just going to follow this link and take a look at the new collaboration portal. Now this is prompting me to log in. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do this, but uh, in just a second I'm going to make a configuration change to the browser to go ahead and use my credentials so that we don't have to log in every time we come to my server. 
if you can see here in the browser window, this is coming in on the uh, internet zone. We want to change this to the internet zone, which is going to cause our login credentials to go over every single time. So to do that, I'm just going to go to Tools, Internet Options, Security, and uh, then we'll simply click Local Intranet here and uh, click Sites, and then click Advanced and just add my server to the local internet group. And we'll close all this. And you can see now that this says local intranet. So I should not be bothered by a login box anymore. All right, so now we've got a brand new web application and a collaboration portal site collection uh, that we have configured to be recognized as the local intranet zone in Internet Explorer.